Time to do some Slay the Spire. It's been a few days since I've streamed it, but here we are. I already did the poll, and we got a tie between the Chad and the Defect. So I flipped a coin, and the Chad won. So, highest ascension level we've gotten so far is 6 for him. Start each run damaged. Let's just, let's just crush this real quick. Okay, uh... What do we want to do? I don't want to get rid of my burning blood, it's too good. Taking damage seems like the right choice since we heal anyway. Uh, let's do that. Okay, we got the fossilized helix, that's awesome. The Chad, indeed. Alright. So we're elite hunting, probably. There's the super elite, I'd like to take that. Do, 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 do. Probably like, probably like this path. Get a shop as well. Two elites. That's not bad. Get a bunch of cards. Awesome. Pretty straightforward early game, you know? This guy does buff, but I think I try to take no damage if possible. I mean, I already took two, but... Oh, what a hand. Alright, fine. I guess I take seven damage. A little bit bad luck here. Those were some unnecessary blocks. Oh, I did have buffer. No, no. That's, yeah, that's true. I should actually use my relic, huh? <laughs> Clearly paying attention. Thank you for reminding me there. Flood killer, I almost... Uh, I'll be honest with you, I had Fossilized Helix um, confused with the thing that gives you intangible every six turns. Um, this is way, way better. Uh, let's see, if we... if we strike... Yeah, he dies. If we do that, and then we... Teach the game to you in co-op, just pick a day and I'll be there. Yeah, um... Talk to me on Discord about that, but I mean, yeah, I, I'm I'm totally down for that. We could possibly even um, do a do a stream where we do that, like I bring you on on a Discord call or something. Have to think about it. Okay, what do I want here? Wild Strike seems pretty good for Act One and bad later. Uh, uppercut seems great. I think I'm probably gonna pick up Uppercut, believe it or not. Havoc is kind of cute if we were to get, like, a bludgeon or something, but it's probably not that good. What's my... Hold on. Let's skip this for a second. What's the boss? It's the slime. Okay. Yeah, or just PM me here. I mean, we can we can figure it out, you know. I mean, I'm definitely down. I do, I do appreciate the gift of Dominions 5, and I'll definitely stream it one way or another. Man, I wish Uppercut didn't cost two. It's like... It's like a strictly better bash, though. <laughs> well, not strictly. What happens if we upgrade it? Is it two? Oh, it is two. Oh, man. All right. I'm actually going to take the Wild Strike. It's one mana. It's big damage. It's a solid card. Solid card for this early. Okay, strike. Strike. We're going to let the Helix do some work for us here. Oh, I see Stormworm. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll, I'll give my honest opinion on it for sure. Okay, um... You know, I did some reading. I did some reading online about Perfected Strike, and would you believe that the higher level people actually think it's a good card? I mean... It's kind of funny, I, I, I would like to... Wow, that beta art is amazing. I want to make a Perfected Strike deck and see if it actually works. People have told me, especially if you get it early, well, people, not people, nobody's told me, I've, I've read it on, on, uh, online, that people had really good things to say about it. I do wish I could see how much extra damage it does, um, from this screen. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five strikes, six strikes, this counts as a strike, that's actually one of the reasons I took Wild Strike, in case I found this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So this is doing twelve extra damage, this is two, two mana for... Uh, 6 plus 12 is 18 damage. 
Oh yeah, Iron Chad seems to have a lot of different things he can do. We haven't done this one yet, and honestly, people have, people have made fun, uh, people have made fun of Perfected Strike on stream before on, uh, while watching me doing this. So I'm really curious to see if it's, if it's possibly worth it. You know, you got the Speed Climber Chivo with a Perfected Strike deck and no Whirlwind. Well, that's impressive. Okay, the Helix is used up. Uh, we can't kill him this turn, unfortunately, so we're going to have to block a couple times. I know, Adort, how about that? I'm trying my best. Okay, so there we go. It says it says how much damage in this screen. It just doesn't do it from the, from the deck itself. Boom! Not bad. Interesting. Yeah, Heavy Blade's probably the right choice here. Unfortunately, it's not upgraded, and it's not a strike, so I have to, I have to wonder if we should be building, like, entirely around Perfected Strike. <laughs> um, but yeah, we should take a Heavy Blade. You guys are right. It's just not... It's not amazing right now. It's okay, I guess. We have no way of gaining strength at the moment. I still think that this, this, the fact that we found this Helix so early is outrageous. Just really, really good. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and... Uh, why don't we just go ahead and kill this dude? <laughs> Strength deck only deck? No, bro. Perfected strike deck. Okay. Um... It's either Double Tap or Sword Boomerang. I don't have any strength or anything yet, and we already have a source of Vulnerable that we started with, Bash. Strike deck is too op to be considered a real tech, really now? I'm gonna get this Double Tap. If we could Double Tap Perfected Strike, that'd be incredible. Okay, first, first real pathing choice here. I don't really want events. Um, if I go this way, I get another... I get another monster, and I also get to worm my way up here towards the towards the shop, which is something we really would like. Although there is a shop over here we want to get to this elite, so let's go this way. Okay. Um, okay, so sadly we're going to have to eat the damage from this. I can go ahead and pretty much kill the slime, though. Buffer will, will stop his 12 damage here. Yeah, Dort. I do have Perfected Strike. <laughs> People were making fun of it, but I think it's actually good. No no joke, man. Strike this dude. Um, team, do I want to... Do I want to bash? Wild Strike's coming up. We'll be able to double tap him. Yeah, let's bash him. So that does 18, 18 times 2. Yeah, he dies if I, if I do this and a strike. I think my math is getting faster, you guys. Okay, uh... So Clash is kind of cute. Like, if, if we were to build this deck with... <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to take Clash, but it is, it is a cute idea with the Perfected Strike meme. I think this is a skip. Um... Thunderclap is cool, but I think this is a skip. I think we stick with Bash for applying Vulnerable. Havoc is unnecessary. Yeah, I'm skipping this. This stuff is no good, I don't think. Man, I feel bad having this Heavy Blade, to be honest with you. I think I should have skipped this, just because I have, I have no strength. I'll upgrade it, though at some point, and maybe we'll get some strength, I don't know. It's not impossible. Anyway, I want to wait for my double tap perfected strike hand to wake this dude up. So let's just just hang out. We also have two great potions already. Okay, this is awesome. This means next turn, guaranteed double tap perfected strike. So as big as this hand could be, like 18 plus 6 is 24 damage, we can do so much more. We can do 40 damage next turn.
Now, I would like to bash him first, but we just uh, we don't have the mana for it. Um, which is unfortunate. A tired pillow. <laughs> Has anybody else felt, like, more tired all the time ever since this quarantine thing started? I don't know if it's just not going outside as much or what, but... Like, I've been sleepy for the past month. Still getting work done on my game, but... A little bit less. Looks like an ocarina. Yeah, it kind of does. I think it's, um... What exactly is a Lagavulin? That's a real word, isn't it? Anyway, I wonder... If I were to double tap... I mean, we could... We could Liquid Memories. We could, uh... Get, like, three perfect Perfected Strikes here. I don't think I need to bother, though. Let's let's just... Yeah, f forget the Vuln. I'd like to Vuln him. Yeah, Edor, days, days do seem faster, don't they? It's a pretty good start. That is a Scotch brand, you're right. Yeah, it's a place in Scotland. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll, I'll pass turn. Okay, so that 20 damage does absolutely nothing to us. If I really want to, I could go ahead and... Yeah, you know what? I am going to drink this just because we have the Entropic Brew to fill up our potion slots. Uh, and I'm actually going to use the Bash. Okay. I'm going to see if we can do this Lagavulin fight taking no damage thanks to Buffer. Pretty sick. Uh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe. It could happen. I don't really need to bust out all these potions, but I mostly just wanted to see if it was doable. Let me see. Okay. Well, it's it's obviously going to be Carnage. Yeah, we can do it. Just with the attack potion. Awesome. Very cool, baby. What is this? I've never seen this. Whenever you exhaust a card, deal three damage to all enemies. Hmm. Guess I could get that one card that uh, exhausts things, you know. Take another perfected strike. <laughs> strike deck, here we go, baby. Okay, so what do we smith? Um, could be double tap. Is that an iron ironclad exclusive relic? I think it might be. It's either going to be a double tap or a, or a perfected strike. Man, I regret taking this heavy blade. I shouldn't have done it. But may maybe we'll get strength. You know, maybe. Alright, so options. Perfected strike, bash, double tap, strike. If I were to get double tap, we don't really have the mana to support it. Although, it would be helpful if we had, like, a handful of strikes, double tap, and, like, a wild strike or something. And we could just double up two of them. I think for now, though, I think we just get this. I mean, hell, that's like an extra... That's an extra one damage per strike, so that's actually three, four, five, six, seven, eight more damage from one upgrade. And it actually gets better as time goes on, as we pick up more strikes, you know? It's really not bad. Okay. Go here. Okay, um... He can do as much damage as he, as he wants. I don't care if I'm vulnerable because I've got the helix. See, there we go. So th just 30 damage. Two mana, 30 damage. What a great card. Busted, almost. Pommel strike? Okay, I'll take a pommel strike. I'll upgrade my perfected strikes even more. That's cool. So I think that we get rid of our defends, believe it or not. We just go, like, full offense deck. Oh, you would have taken the, the seeing red prepaid? Maybe. Let's see, we have 229 gold. You know I want to hit up a shop. Rather than get the second campfire as cool as it is. Yeah, let's do this. 
No, actually prepaid. I I got the helix off of the uh, the whale, and then the first I think the first card I got was wild strike, and then after that perfected strike. And I'm I'm purposefully doing it because I I want to test a deck that everybody tells me is bad, but then I've read online it was actually good, so I want to see it for myself. I meant to vote for shockwave. Yeah, shockwave would have been good. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Hell yeah. I'll get all the strikes in the world, baby. Okay. You read it online, it must be good. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Who knows? I mean, I put some thought into it. I didn't just, like, accept that. Um, I mean, it seems pretty goddamn amazing right now. I mean, this these things are doing, like, 30 damage for two mana. I mean, at that point, you've basically got a cheaper bludgeon, you know? So the logic of it kind of kind of works out for me anyway. I think so. I think I think it's all right. And we have double tap. We could perfect its strike and kill somebody. If we had, like, one more... If this was upgraded or if we had one more strike, then it would just kill these guys without even double tapping. It's crazy. Um, let's just do this, I guess. Actually, I should have done the one in the back. I don't think he was debuffing. I could keep building strength decks. Well, I actually have to wonder if this is better than a strength deck. No, no, no joke. Okay, I'm not going to get any... Well, the Disarm's good. And it also exhausts, so it triggers the Ch uh, Charon's Ashes. Karen's Ashes? Yeah. Cleave would be good versus the Slime, but I'm not going to bother with it. Let's, let's get the Disarm. It's hard to go wrong getting Disarm. Also, we get two cards. <laughs> do, I, do I pick up Twin, twin Strike? Karen's Ashes! <laughs> She complained to the manager too many times! Uh, draw one card, yeah. Uh, we don't we don't need to bother with this. Yeah, I guess the Searing Red would be pretty good for this deck right now. Although, man, that, that Twin Strike upgrades my Perfected Strikes. I think I'm just supposed to take as many Pommel Strikes as possible, not, not the Twin Strikes. Yeah, okay. Let's go Elite Hunting. See, uh, name me the deck that could do this. Look at this crap. Look at this. It's insane. It's outrageous. I should have killed one of the other ones, by the way, but... I mean, come on. That's crazy. Well, yeah, watch. I'm talking ch uh, the Iron Chad, though. Okay, I messed up. I, I should have killed one of these guys. Whoops. Um, probably will use the Block Potion. Now we'll take no damage. <laughs> just 33 damage, just right off the bat. It's, it's wild. I probably should have used Seeing Red just to get the extra damage. It's fine, though. Yeah, prepaid, that's true. Um, although Pommel Strike lets me draw more cards and cast more things. So it's... um. Like while it scales worse off of strength, that probably ends up giving me more damage if I have enough if I have a lot of mana, you know. Let's see, defend, strike will heal the damage that he does to me. Crazy. I can't believe how much damage I'm doing. Oh, toxic egg. Okay. It's not bad. I would have preferred the egg that gives attacks, but that's fine. Attack upgrades. Um, should we be a greedy feedy? We could be a greedy feedy here, guys. It also exhausts, which means it combos with, uh, Sharon's Ashes. Power through is upgraded, though, because of the egg, and 20 block is pretty good, but you know what? We're gonna be a greedy feedy. Okay. 
Hey, interesting choices. That's that's Dark Embrace. Which, by the way, combos really nicely with Sharon's Ashes if I can get more exhaust stuff. Um not particularly useful right now. I guess it's kinda useful to turn seeing red into a card that gives me mana and and a card. Kinda cool. It's also super cheap. This flame barrier is upgraded with it, which is just sick. I'm not gonna get the shrug it off because we're gonna be getting a lot of pommel strikes. I could get a third perfected strike, which is just hilarious. Um There's no sources of strength here, which is something we're kinda looking out for. If I get Donut, I can try to get the achievement this run. What's the Donut achievement? I'm gonna pick up the two strikes for sure, that's too good. Yeah, we're gonna make a bloated, nasty, ugly deck here is what we're gonna do. Flame Barrier is real tempting. That's a really good card. Oh, you have to use Feed on Donu? Ah, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, I'll do that. See, metal, Medical Kit is really good for us, and I think we should buy it instead of the Dark Embrace. I just, I wish we had two more gold, because then we could get the Medical Kit and Dark Embrace. But check it out, like, Medical Kit, because of Sharon's Ashes, actually combos really nicely. Because I can get those wounds uh, from, for example, Wild Strike. And then just get rid of them, you know? And do damage with them, you know, which is really not bad. And it's just good for, uh, well, it's good for certain bosses. It's tough though. I wish I wish we had more money. Um, hmm. what a really good choice this year. If I don't do that, remove the heavy blade, so I can feel terrible about having gotten it in the first place. Adore, I hate you. Ah. Hey, Tumalu. What's up, man? I feel like Dark Embrace is, is like a trap. Believe it or not. We don't have the mana to support it. And we don't have that much exhaust in the deck, even if we have something that plays nicely with exhaust. I think... Yeah, we gotta get the medkit. It's too good. It's too good. Alright, we have no money anymore. That's cool. Yeah, we don't have an exhaust engine right now, is the thing. We just have this cool little relic that does things if we happen to exhaust. Yeah, you don't take it preemptively. For sure. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's chill here. It's another Lagavul, and this one has um, strength. Hopefully we get a double tap perfected strike. Nope. So it's it's uh it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna be able to double strike or double tap him. We will be able to perfect its strike though. Yeah, okay, let's just chill out, I guess. Okay, no upgraded perfected strike. Do you have a wild strike though? That's cool. Alrighty then. Uh, boom. Boom. Twenty-two damage will pass right through us because of the helix. This is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and disarm him. I'm not gonna bother to bash. We're gonna. We're just gonna go straight for damage. It's gonna be awesome. Look at that. It's insane. Guys, I, Perfected Strike is awesome. Why did you guys tell me it was bad? <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> oh, nice combo. Alright. Can't actually kill him, unfortunately. So I'll throw this. Strength build is in the past now. Alright, 15 damage. We're gonna take 10. I could Dex Potion, but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, strength is really good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's a great build. 
Okay, perfect. There's our feed. Delicious. The courier. I would have liked to have had that earlier. Okay. I don't think we take any of this. Um, I used to think that armaments was really good. Even upgraded, I, I think I've decided it's not worth it. Hello, Senshi. How you doing, my friend? Ended friendship with strength build. Now perfected strike is my <laughs> perfected strike is my best friend now. Oh no! I wish I'd gotten the cleave. Crap. Yeah, strength could certainly help this deck. Because the thing is, strength is handy for all these crappy little strikes I'm still living with. Okay, let's uh. Almost struck this dude. Believe it or not, I want to kill the mad gremlin first, and I'm just going to take 20 or uh, 10, 10 damage. And I guess I'll drink this real quick so this guy dies. How's my weekend day uh, been? It's it's all right. Um, still trapped inside because of the coronavirus, but it's really not not bad, you know. I've been uh, working on the game that I told you guys about. I'm almost ready. I've almost replaced all of the sort of placeholder assets that will... I mean, there's still placeholder assets, but they're like things that are... I want to take out all the things that are straight up stolen so that I can't... Uh, you know, like for example, I have a Stardew Valley Goblin in, in the game right now, which I obviously don't want to keep in there because it's just it was just for me to, you know, kind of a proof of concept for the game itself, but I can't keep that in there if I'm going to make videos about it, you know, because somebody might... Uh, <laughs> might say that it's copyright infringement or something. So, I went and I, I went to. Uh, I thought that goblin was from DCSS. Yeah, the the goblin on the overworld was from DCSS. But I, when you go to the combat, he was the goblin from Stardew Valley. But anyway, what I did was I I do have a guy. I have um, adored. Actually, I don't have any artist making making art for it at all right now. It's um. Wesley is the guy I would if if you know he would be the guy that fingers crossed I would have do all the art if he was available, but he's, he's, uh, had some health problems, ish, uh, health issues lately, which has kind of precluded him from, from doing any work on it. So I don't know if he's going to be the guy who does the art for the game or not. Um, but with that said, I'm, I'm just, I went to opengameart.com. I think that was the site and picked up, uh, some, some, uh, some stuff that's going to like not get me sued to, to show it off, you know? So soon I will be making more public videos about it. I've, I have some unlisted videos on YouTube that I think I shared with, with you guys a couple couple streams ago. And yeah, Stormworm, absolutely. I will need testers. I'm not at that point yet, but at some point, for sure. Anyway, um... Let's just kill these dudes. Boom. But yesterday, I finished the thing that lets you upgrade your abilities in the game, so I'm pretty pretty happy about that. Hey, none of these have the word strike in them. We probably should take the upgraded flame barrier since it's good to have one. Um, bloats the deck more and the deck's already going to be bloated, but yeah, I gotta take it. Exhaust one card, draw three cards. Is that, is that a good card? I've never used Burning Pack before. I mean, I guess I could use Charon's Ashes, and I... It feels silly to get that because I don't need to exhaust things because I have the medical kit, you know what I mean? I can already get rid of unplayable cards. Cleave is nice if you don't have AoE yet. I agree, but I, I don't want to take it because it's not a strike. I think I will take Pact. Pact is going to let me get... It's going to let me thin the deck. It'll let me get defense out of the deck and things like that. And this is going to be an extremely fat deck, I think. So having stuff to let me do that will be good. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to feed. I forgot I forgot to feed on a gremlin. Or do gremlins count as minions, I wonder, even when they spawn by themselves? Anyway, this is real early, so... We gotta upgrade that. We gotta upgrade feed for maximum hit point potential. They count as monsters on their own? Okay. Let's see. Okay, um, well, obviously we're seeing red first.
So a way to draw cards is the thing, it's really quite good. I plan on having a lot of uh, prioritizing mana artifacts here, so... Yeah, so we could just perfect and strike Heavy Blade. I hate having this Heavy Blade right now. Maybe later I won't. Um, will this take him down below 70? I don't think it... no, it won't. Yeah, let's just... well... I guess we could have drawn into Bash, which would have been nice, but... Nah, let's just Heavy Blade. Actually... no, I am gonna Burning Pact. I want this thing out of my deck. Okay, that's not bad. And then we'll Pommel Strike. Cool, cycling through our strikes, good. So he slimes me, that's cool. He's charging up, I think, for a big attack. We can... We could perfect and strike him and split him. I think I'd rather, like... I think I'd rather bash and set him up for a really big turn, because we could have an upgraded perfected strike next turn. Yeah. So now he's Vuln for the next turn. That'll go away when he splits, unfortunately, but... This, this means we get to have really super-duper weak slimes when we do this. Oh, no, we got memed. We got memed because we didn't draw into the Perfected Strike. I mean, it's cool. We can still Wild Strike with Double Tap, I guess. That's not bad. Kind of a shame, though. Um, okay. It's still, I mean, still look at the damage. 35 hit points, I mean, come on. That's great. It's probably the best slime fight I've ever had, to be honest. Okay, we can just straight up kill one of these dudes. Um, can I feed on one of them, I wonder? Yeah, we can't do it. Um, let's pommel strike the dude in the back and see what we get. Just a wound. Eh. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll cycle through. Uh, maybe I could have done that with the medical kit ashes combo. Eh, well. Okay, so we're gonna have to eat some damage is what we're gonna have to do. Uh, I can pommel strike here. Okay. He's gonna split. That's cool. So I'll just chill, actually. I don't want to kill him. I want to feed on him. Because I'm hungry. Okay, um... So this is cool. Double tap. Strike this dude. He dies. I don't take damage. And then we'll go ahead and disarm. But I gotta be careful about that because I am damaging every time I do that stuff. There it is. Okay. Uh, hmm. Fiendfire seems great in a Charon's Ashes deck, but we don't we don't have strength, so Fiendfire is really bad right now. In in my opinion. I don't I don't think Fiendfire is very good unless you have a lot of draw and some strength. Um Impervious is great, it's also upgraded. Uh Emulate. I think we take the Emulate. None of these have strike in the title. Yeah, screw it, don't take any. No, I don't know. Um, Immolate would give me burns, which is kind of cool with the medical kit and the ashes. I think this is the right choice. This is our AoE. Fiendfire is the best card in Ironclad by win rate, but it does do better with strength. I think I gotta go for the Immolate. Um, because we have double tap is the thing which works better with Immolate than it does with Fiendfire. Okay, we can upgrade our Burning Blood. We could get Sneko Eye, which I think... Sneko Eye is kind of hilarious in this deck, actually, because all the best things are high cost. Um, alternately, we could, we could Astrolabe, which would let us get rid of um, Heavy Blade. <laughs> Sneko, I do agree with Sneko here. Sneko is almost definitely the choice. Fun stuff. It's kind of like having more mana, which we really 
really need. Sadly, we weren't offered any mana artifacts, or I would have gone for that, probably. But hey, I'm cool with Sneko. Sneko's good. 174 gold couriers, so we only really need to hit up one shop in the entire place. Let's maximize, um, let's maximize elites. Cycle through the deck faster? Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. Alright. One elite. Two elite. Two elite. What if I take this path? Um, one elite, two elite, three elite, four elite. It's gotta be the highest. Yeah, that's gotta be the highest. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four. There it is. And there's like... It's a shop on this path if I really want one. It's a little earlier than I would have liked, but... Alright, buddy. Wow, Sneko's gonna be fun. Um, okay. It also means there's no reason to upgrade things like Seeing Red, which just change their cost, you know? <laughs> um, so before we emulate, we actually would like to probably pull Bash if we can. So we're gonna Burning Pact. I think we're probably gonna get rid of Double Tap because it costs so much and I don't think we're very likely to draw back into it. Burning Pact is amazing now, by the way, with Sneko Eye. Just really good. I mean, I could, actually, I could double tap Emulate. <laughs> you know what, yeah, let's get rid of the Heavy Blade instead. Oh wow, and there it is! Perfected Strike. Okay. So if we double tap that, he just, like, almost dies, and then we Emulate, and he does die. Wait a minute. That means I don't get to feed. Also, I miscounted. He, he just dies instantly from that. Oh, well, it's fine. I need to be more greedy about feeding, though. Alright, do we take the Twin Strike? Headbutt's really good, but it's not a strike card. I only get to feed in Dota 2. <laughs> Let's see what the other group is. Oh, there's a Flex. There's a Flex Plus. Let's take that. Let's, uh, let's take that, and maybe we can turn that into a deck that, uh, into a thing. Well, on the other hand, flex, flex is zero cost. So in a, maybe not so good in a, in a Sneko. I'm not taking flex with Sneko. No, we're skipping this. The twin strike is tempting. But we don't have any strength yet, so I don't, I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna do it. It says strike. Strike is in the name. We're doing it. Okay, we're not doing this, because bites do not count as strikes, believe it or not, so it's kind of a shame. Should be called Bite Strike. Feels weird denying that, uh, that event. Fang Strike, yeah! Okay, let's Burning Pact. Let's actually use feed this time. <laughs> okay, so these are free defends, which are useless to me, but sure, I'll use them, I suppose. Whoops, that was a three cost. Whoops, I just misclicked the screen there. Uh, that's, that's okay. That's okay. We still have the buffer and everything, this will be fine. Okay, three mana. I could disarm him, but I'd rather probably bash. Oh wait, he's got he's got artifact. I'm messing up left and right. Whoops. Okay, well we still have this perfected strike. That's fine. It does 30 damage. It's not even upgraded. Incredible. Do that. Do that. Just take the damage, I guess. Which the buffer will stop. Where's my feed, guys? Literally the last card in deck. Okay. That's fine. Um, 12. Okay, we'll we'll be using Flame Barrier. We could kill him right now, but I want to feed. I could seeing red to get the... to get the feed. But would we be able to kill him? Unfortunately, Perfected Strike just murders him. We could pommel. We could also pommel into feed. 
but the feed would not kill him is the thing. We wouldn't have the mana. Like, even if the feed is zero cost, it, it only does 12 damage. Uh, 12 plus 9 is not enough to kill him right now. Well, we could see him red to do a little more damage. Let me think about this. Alright, so this does 3. He, he effectively has 28 hit points, so this does 3 because of the ashes. Alright, 3 plus 9 is 12. Plus 12 is... Tw is uh, 12 plus 12 is 24, so he'd still have 4 hit points. Um, now, how does, where does that leave our mana? So we use Seeing Red, we have five, uh, 4 mana at that point. We use Pommel Strike, we have 2 mana at that point. Even if Feed is free, there's no way to get more... Just kill him next turn, you're overthinking this? Yeah, you're probably right. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll probably... It's just that I have to take damage here. What I think we'll do is we'll... That's 11 x 2, 22. Let's drink this thing. Um, he'll take 12, 12 damage from the flame barrier. Um, let's do this real quick. Okay, um, let's, uh, I'll drink this. Actually, you know what, he's, he's, I wish he wasn't artifacted. <laughs> this is fine, let's do this. Okay, so I'll only take a little bit of damage. And then it's a matter of, do I want to Pommel Strike, which I don't. The problem is, I may not be able to kill him with the feed next turn. But yeah, I mean, we have to roll the dice. Okay, so we have double tap, that's cool. Um, son of a bitch! Do you know what just happened there? I got I got cucked because, yeah, I should have known that would happen. Feed exhausted, did an extra three damage with the ashes, and therefore that doesn't count as the feed. So I don't I don't I didn't get the health. Big meme. And I'm not taking any of these cards. The bloodletting is cute, but not with uh, not with Sneko Eye. I don't think. I mean, that's like having a... It's it's like... It's like having a seeing... Uh, another seeing red, basically. Only it damages me. I'm not going to take the flex, I don't think. Flex not cool with Sneko, yeah. I don't think we take any of this either. Yeah. Okay, we have 207 gold. This is our last chance to hit up a shop. Um until Act 3. But because of the Courier, I think I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna take another set of cards is what I'm gonna do. And we'll just um, save our giant pile of gold until Act 3 because the Courier is so good. Protected Strike would do 30 damage. Um, or we could bash him and apply Vulnerable, which is probably what we want to do. Defends are all very expensive. Let's throw this thing at him. So that's only 6, 12, 18 damage now. Minus uh, 6. If I were to defend, defend, which is possible, we would only take, uh, well, we'd still take uh, 6 damage. I think I'm just going to eat my damage here. Instead of Perfected Strike, I will bash. Uh, and then I'll strike. I take 12. It's no big deal. Now he's vulnerable. I had hoped that I would have drawn into my upgraded perfected strike, but I did not. Um, disarm's really good here, so let's use it. Flame barrier probably would have been... Actually, yeah, that would have been better. Whoops. Yeah, that would have blocked everything almost. 6, 12, 18. I would have taken 2 damage and he would have eaten. 6, 12, 18. Should have done that. Um, although the the disarm helps more in the long term. Let's just emulate him. No big deal. We'll, we'll heal 6 after this. Okay, there's feed. Let's use it right this time. Um, okay, can I just... 14 plus 12 is... 26, that's not enough. I gotta be so careful. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, right, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. That's exactly... Oh, damn it, that armor. Um, setting this up is obnoxious. If I do this... Check it out. If I do this... Okay, that's perfect. He, he will, in fact, die. There we go. There's my max hit points. Hell yeah. Where's my strike cards, bro? Um... Okay, so Fire Breathing is actually not bad in this deck. We have a lot of status cards now. Um, like, Wild Strike and... Are we not putting status card burns from Emulate? I guess it's really not that many status cards. Maybe it's not Fire Breathing. It could be... It, it, it combos really nicely with Medical Kit, though. Let me skip that and see what else we have here. Another Fire Breathing. Wow, that's an upgraded Fire Breathing. 10 damage to all enemies, man. That's, that's... It's, like, slow, but... This is almost it, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's this is not really a fire-breathing deck, but... You know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take both of these, which I know is probably really dumb, but we're gonna try to pick up as many Wild Strikes as possible. Uh, I don't think that was the optimal choice, but I think it is the fun choice. Hmm, okay. Okay. So uh, that was like 60, 70 damage in one turn. Really not bad. There we go, we just drew a wound. So there's a three mana feed. Uh, sadly, I don't think we're... Well, we might be able to do this. Hold up. See, we've been memed on again. Look at this. Look at that. Exactly one hit point more. Oh, man. Can't catch a break here. I think I just don't... I don't feed. I think I've grown out of being a, a greedy, feedy, sneedy. As good as it is, I think we just go for the kill. Okay, shall we take another Pommel Strike, or shall we take a Fire Breathing and have three? <laughs> uh, let's see what the other card is. Don't take a third Fire Breathing. We don't take Searing Blow. Uh, we could take Sentinel. We could take Evolve, yeah. If we're building the Fire Breathing deck, then we gotta have Evolve, right? Hell yeah. I'm gonna take Pommel Strike. Upgrade those uh, Super Strikes even further. Everybody wants me to take a Headbutt, but I don't. I'm not a fan of it in Sneko. Um, okay, so three campfires here would be pretty sick. We do need upgrades pretty badly, but I could instead get... Let's see, how many Elites is this? That's one Elite. One elite and three campfires and a shop versus three, four elites. Oh, they were looking at the evolve. Ah, I see. Yeah, well, we took the evolve, so we'll make it work. Man, uh, I almost think the campfires are better than the relics in this case, just because we so badly need to upgrade our perfected strikes to get them to absolutely insane damage. And our pommel strikes, for that matter. Like, this deck is so hungry for upgrades, it's not even funny. Um, I'm just not sure if we really need anything in the way of relics at this point. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the campfires. Sweet, free double tap. <laughs> well, hold on, what would I even use that on? I guess just like a strike, since we're going to be perfected striking the dude in the middle. 
It's kind of cute that this evolve is here, but I don't think we need it for this fight. There is Pommel Strike. I wish we could do that and Perfected Strike. We just don't have the mana. We so badly need more mana. Um, I could just defend this turn and let this Mad Gremlin do his work. And then not use the Perfected Strike. Kill the Shield guy with the Pommel Strike. We're not killing everything here is the thing. Yeah, let's do this. Maybe we'll draw into seeing red. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, we drew into feed. It's obviously not what we wanted. Uh, okay, all defend. All evolve, I guess. And we'll just not use the feed. 64 damage on the master looks nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree, but he's... He's uh, summoning anyway, so... Okay, well, let's do this. Wow, we could just, uh... We could just bash him and do, like, 67 damage to him right now. That's insane. Sounds good. Okay, um... No reason not to do this, really. Nice damage. Um... Hmm. I do want to disarm, I just don't know if I want to disarm him or the boss. Probably the boss. Or the elite, rather. Now the question is, do I want a flame barrier and save my, uh... Save my buffer, or do I want a burning pact and get more cards and keep this turn going? If I keep the turn going, we could potentially kill this thing, so let's do that. Okay, so that failed. That's fine, I guess. Um... Let's focus on the boss. The buffer will stop me from taking damage this turn, at least. Okay, we got Immolate. That's hilarious. We got another fire breathing. Hell yeah. Um, so we can just kill all these dudes right now. So of course I'll do that. Okay. 714. Let's chill, because I could draw status cards. I want... Actually, no, I couldn't. There's no status cards in deck. No, yeah, there are. There's a burn. I really want to draw my, my feed. So let's try not to kill him. Let's just... Let's just chill out. He's gonna summon again. That's fine. Um, see, if I were to pommel strike him right now... If we drew the burn, he would take 16 damage and, and then he would just die. Um, so again, I'm just going to chill and maybe we'll draw the feed. No feed. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Um, we cannot not take damage this turn. Unless we kill, unless we kill him with emulate, because uh, if I were to, like, twin strike doesn't kill these guys. Twin strike strike, and then that would be like all I could do for the turn, basically. Well, hmm, what is this? Whenever you play three or less turns during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. I mean, that could happen. Oh, yeah, Tumula. I guess I could defend, defend. But yeah, Pocket Watch is really good with Sneko, I think. Oh, well. Hey, guys, there's Limit Break. Um, there's an upgraded Limit Break here. But we have no way to gain strength. Do we, do we take it, do we take it speculatively? I don't think we do. I feel, I feel like it's just not the deck for it. In fact, I, I feel like we, believe it or not, remove the Heavy Blade. I'm okay with taking the Metallicize, I think. Metallicize is cool with me. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. It feels weird not taking a Limit Break, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, okay, what do I want to upgrade? So many good targets. 
probably the other perfected strike, but maybe some pommel strikes. Um, let's see. Let's get some of these pommel strikes upgraded. Drawing cards with Sneko is really good. Whoa. Is that a bug? <laughs> what just happened there? Okay, Mango or Sapphire Key, of course, we're going to take the key. We can gain all the hit points we want from, from feed. Okay, smithing. Um, still tempted to upgrade more Pommel Strikes, but I think I'll go for the damage this time. Like I said, we just have a million things we want to upgrade, so... Hell yeah, I can spare some coin. What's up, cleric? <laughs> you guys, I think I actually am going to remove the heavy plates. <laughs> uh, either that or a defend. Oh man, the heavy blade is so bad in this deck. I don't know, I don't know. Didn't take the limit break, so it's really clear we're not we're not moving towards a strength deck, you know. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna get rid of it. No joke. All right, so the question is, do I bother with the shop? I have 190. We could instead get question marks. Act two events are kind of cool. On the other hand, I could do a remove. Alright, go to the shop. Frozen Eye. Frozen Eye best card. Ooh, that's an offering. Offering is probably still good, um, even with Sneko. I think. Bandage up is a little silly with Sneko. We don't really need the healing because we have Burning Blood. Um, Master of Strategy is cute. <laughs> Upgraded. Draw four cards. I mean, even if it costs things, it's it's worth it. Although I think Offering's probably best because it does pay for itself. Even even with Sneko, it pays for itself sometimes. It's actually upgraded. Wow. Yeah, because of uh, Toxic Egg. So we probably buy that. Let's see. Yeah, we can buy that and we can also card remove. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we'll card remove. Honestly, who who needs defense when you've got flame barrier? <laughs> cool. I'm happy with this. I think this was the right choice. Hey, Bose. How you doing, my friend? Just playing a little Slay the Spire over here. I'm building a very interesting deck with three perfected strike pluses in it. So either I'm a genius or a madman, I'm not sure which. It seems to be working out okay so far. Okay, um, the defend is free. May as well use it for science. Yeah. Disarm would be good would be good here, would make him do two less per attack, so that's uh, at that point he's uh, not damaging me because the Helix will kick in. Um, but hold off. Let me... Let's hold off on that and think about this. A double tap strike. That's kind of silly. Um, I think it's like... I think we have to do damage to the bird is the thing. So... The problem is that this dude's gonna do like... Five... That, that block does absolutely nothing for me unless I disarm him because... The helix kicks in for like one damage and then I just take six more. Um, so it's kind of a pain. I just wish we could bash the guy in front. Hmm. I could just take the damage. Bash. Strike. Strike. This way we don't have to deal with the cultist for most of this fight. 
Where's my greedy feedy? It's, I didn't draw into it like I wanted. Um, sadly, my upgraded pommel strike costs three today. Let's uh, let's do this. Just free mana. It's cool. I wonder. Let's see, nine plus twelve would be not enough to kill him. So even if I pommel striked into my feed, it wouldn't work for me. Guess we might as well just emulate then. It's kind of lame. Um, yeah, it's cool. Let's do that. Caw -caw. And then we'll just perfect and strike this dude for a huge amount of damage. Just outrageous amount of damage. Hey, there's our feed, but it's very expensive. No. The offering also kind of memed us. Full cost offering. You know, I, I tell you, I think I regret getting the feed. We haven't been able to use it with the Sneko deck very much. Okay, I could Flame Barrier here. And we could try to draw into the feed again at some point. I don't think it's the right choice, but I'm probably going to try it, I guess. What's funny is this dude puts Dazed into my deck every time I... Uh, Every time I do a not attack card, but the thing is that I have flame, I have uh, fire breathing, so if I really wanted to, I could just kill him that way, but um, obviously we don't want to kill him. We want to we want to be able to draw into feed again. I don't think it's going to happen for me. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. Let's just fire breathing twice, I guess. <laughs> um, 16. Okay. So he'll take 6 damage from the flame barrier. And then if I draw into these days, he just dies. Yeah, so there's there's no way at this point to... Yeah, let's just take him out. Alrighty. Uh, I could take an Inflame. That's a source of strength, which makes my Heavy Blade, which I no longer have. It would have made that better. Um, I, don't, I don't think Inflame is bad here, though, even though the deck does not really want to be a strength deck. Could take a second Metallicize, I guess. It's hard to say no to extra strength, though. Let me see what the second group of cards is. Oh, that's Whirlwind. I mean, I can't not take a Whirlwind. Come on. Hey, Wesley. We've we built a janky machine here. It's 31 cards, and it has three perfected strikes in it. It's actually awesome. I can't believe I was memed into believing that perfected strike is bad. Yeah, Whirlwind. Yeah, that's another thing I was thinking too, Malou, is it's nice with Sneko. Don't really want to use Whirlwind here, though. Kind of wish we had taken that Limit Break earlier, though. Uh, alrighty, so what do I want to do here? I would like to emulate for free, but hold up. Um, you know what? Let's just set this up. Let's um, just evolve and then do this. Cool. Uh, and then, you know what, fine, all whirlwind, that's cool. All we had to draw into is one perfected strike, and we did. You think perfected is bad, but you'll take it on act one? Well, it was the second card we got, so that's, there's something to be said for that. I don't want to activate as malleable too many times. You generally want to remove all your strikes. I haven't removed any strikes, is the thing. I don't feel bad about about removing, about keeping strikes under these conditions, considering I'm doing like 33 damage to them. Speaking of that, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. The feed will not kill him. It only does 9 damage right now. Uh, let's, hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do this, unfortunately. Let me, uh... God, that, that goddamn malleable... can't do it, because if I strike him right now, yeah, it's because of the weak. I keep getting completely memed out of my, uh... I keep getting completely memed out of using feed, and I don't feel comfortable. This deck is not capable of, like, sustaining, you know what I mean? Through through a lot of... a lot of turns. I don't have any real good source of defense. I mean, Metallicize is just... it's just not good enough, you know? Um... 
So I think we just have to we just have to kill him, which is a big shame. Hmm. Yeah. Because like if I were to do that, boom, now he has armor. And this only does nine damage anyway, so oh well, it's fine. Oh yeah, wild strike, auto take. Take as many wild strikes as possible in this deck. Alright, Pubble is typically awesome. I don't I don't know if we take it here. Yeah, Wesley, I'm 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 always uh I'm always reticent to to look at win rate data like that and just kind of take it on on faith that that's like always the best thing to do, you know. This is interesting. Um, I don't think we take any of this. I don't. I mean, shrug it off is really good, but pummel pummel scales the best out of any card in the game, from what I'm told, with uh, strength. But we still only have the one in flame. I mean, it does exhaust, which combos with our. Our ashes here, I guess. Um, no, I'm gonna skip this stuff. The deck's already pretty bloated as it is. Okay. Let's pick up pommel. Let's let's upgrade pommel strike. Alrighty, it's the champ. The champ is here. Okay. Um, Sad that our flame barrier is free, but some of our other stuff isn't. But hey, you know what? We automatically get to double perfected strikes, so that's wild. Really need to upgrade double tap soon, by the way. Uh, let's... Hmm, three mana. Let's drink an energy potion real quick. I'm gonna use this and see what I can get. Okay, I was hoping for like a free bash or something. What am I fighting? You can't see my enemy? You can't see the champ? What are you... What are you talking about? I have the stream open and I can see him. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, Flug. Oh, I see. John Cena. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we didn't draw into what we wanted. However, we did draw into another Pommel Strike. So I could still double tap Perfected and Pommel Strike, which is cool. Um, let's do that. Okay, we got a Wild Strike. Huh. Okay, so yeah. No, it's not going to be what I, what I wanted really, but it's still an enormous amount of damage. So double tap. Perfected Strike. Look at that. Turn one. How much damage is that? Like, uh, it's over 100, you know? It's almost 200, actually. 150-ish. Wish I'd been able to cast Evolve. I mean, I could've, but... Right, there's our Fire Breathing for free. Very cool. There's a free Disarm. I'll take that. Not bad. That 16 damage will go straight into my buffer, which is fine. Uh, do another fire breathing. Strike. Affected strike. Yeah, Sneko Eye is amazing in this deck, Wesley. Just really, really good. Okay, 12 damage. Uh, hmm. Probably just eat the damage here. I don't Whirlwind. I kind of regret taking Whirlwind, to be honest, but whatever. Um, I think I just Metallicize Perfected Strike here. Yeah, I'd say it's one of the best relics in the game. I think I want to emulate just to put a burn in my discard pile. Maybe. No, let's do this. And let's just do the big damage. Sadly, we're weak now. But we can make up for that with Bash. Very cool. Seeing red is free. Awesome. Uh, we actually got to fire breathe on him, by the way. <laughs> kind of cool. 
Then we just activate the wound, very cool. I'll strike him. Oh, I had an inflame in my hand. Wow, we just uh, cucked ourselves out of a lot of damage because I didn't see that. Whoops. It's okay though, we still win really, really easily with this deck, which is outrageous. Hopefully I can draw into my feed. You've done it now, he says. Well, we have to win this turn. Believe it or not, I might not be able to. Um, the offering will give me some cards. Let's see what we get. And some mana. So it pays for itself, at least. Oh right, yeah, so we can kill him with Perfected Strike. Um, no, no feed today, unfortunately. Well, may wait a minute. Wait a minute. We know we can kill him with Perfected Strike. So I could Burning Pact real quick, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. I'll get rid of... I mean, it doesn't matter what I get rid of. Double tap, I guess. Let's see what we draw. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll just fire breathe him to death. That's, that's fine. No feeds for me. Alright. Clearly this deck wants the demon form, uh, I think. I mean, with Sneko, it's like a... It's, it's, it's an auto-pick. Did I actually draw the feed? Is that what happened? That's hilarious. This is the second fiend fire I've been offered, but demon form just, uh, it just, it just, uh, scales too, too well for me to pass it up. Okay, Velvet Choker is kind of cute with this, with this deck. I keep forgetting that I have Pocket Watch, but it kind of combos with that. Um, Sacred Bark is really awesome. Tiny House is just kind of, it's kind of there, you know, it's okay. I think we take the Choker. Although the Choker really kind of screws me over in some ways. Although I guess this deck doesn't... This deck is not really trying to cast a bunch of stuff anyway at the same time. Oh yeah! Hey Wesley, thanks for bringing that up. Flood Killer, I don't think I ever thanked you for um, for working on that. It's not... It's not... Uh, it hasn't been put into the game yet, but that's... Uh, as soon as I get off the stream, I'm going to throw it in the, into the code. I'm not sure if you saw the latest, um, the latest thing I did with the upgrade screen where the, the music is supposed to play. I just haven't put it there yet. I was actually, um, I'm rebuilding, well, I'm not exactly rebuilding it, but I'm revamping the way that the different, uh, I'm calling them contexts, so what I'm talking about is, like, the different kinds of screens, like the inventory screen, and then, like, the screen where you're upgrading your abilities, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm changing those a bit and upgrading the code for them so that they can, uh, for example, have music associated with them that plays every time it becomes active, you know? Anyway, this is this is Act Three. Um, 137 gold, so we would like to go to a shop at some point, but ideally later on. Um, maybe like up here. Let's, you know, we still have so many upgrades we want to get. I want to upgrade Emulate. I I want to upgrade my other fire breathing. I want to upgrade. Uh, probably de definitely demon form. You know. Just, there's just so much stuff to upgrade, so we're going to maximize campfires. Actually, no, we're, we're going to maximize question marks, because this is, this is Act 3, and I want, my, I want my mind bloom. Come to think of it, so 3, 4, 5, that's got to be the most. 3, 2, 2, two 1, 2, yeah, no, it's, it's this path right here. 1, 2, whatever, 3, 4, 5, yeah, that's best. Okay. Interesting. Two fire breathings in starter hand. Kind of silly. Let's almost strike this fella here. See what we get. Hmm. Oh, we do have a perfected strike. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, you better believe I'm gonna feed. Wait, why can't I? Oh, 
Hey! Hey guys! <laughs> no! <laughs> the Velvet Choker, you guys! I'm gonna have to pay attention to that. There's the Greedy Feedy. Um, wow. See, we're memed again. We can't, we can't kill him and use the feed. It's just not gonna happen. Um, I guess I can do this and not take damage this turn. And we can just, like, pass turn until we go back around to it. Whew. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll just chill. We'll draw a ton of cards. Thank you, Pocket Watch. Actually, we'll do this too. Boom. Wow, we draw so many cards. It's awesome. Okay, wound. Where's my, uh... Where's my feed, bros? My deck is so huge. Okay. Do I want to pommel strike him? I can't accidentally damage him, right? Or can I? If I end turn to these things... Hold up. If I do that... Alright, if I end turn, will they... Yep, they will damage him. So I gotta be careful. He's, he's on a clock. But that's cool. There's my feed. Finally. I will go over 100 hit points, I assure you. So we removed a Heavy Blade earlier. Suddenly it's okay to have Heavy Blade in deck because we have Demon uh, form, but I don't... I don't think I need it. I think it's just junk in the deck at this point. Um, even though it's really good if I happen to have Strength built up. Um, so is basically everything else, you know? Yeah, the barrier... Yeah, another barrier is probably correct, I agree. Especially with, um... Especially with Sneko. Also, I picked up another Wild Strike. Transform a card. Okay. Um... What do we hate the most in this deck? I think I just want Defends out. I want to keep my... I feel like I want to keep my strikes just for the extra 10 damage for each... Uh, actually, no, it's 3-6. It's actually 15 damage is what these strikes are giving my perfected strikes. 5 cards, 5 strikes, times 3. So yeah, get rid of the defend. Jug juggernaut? Oh no! <laughs> this is not a Juggernaut deck. That's uh, a curse. Well, it kind of works with Metallicize, I guess. I have yet to play a Juggernaut deck, unfortunately. Okay. Not that good, but... I mean, it's better than a defend, I guess. Okay, we can do 53 damage to this dude right off the bat. Outrageous. Or we could Flame Barrier and not take any damage, which is probably better. Uh, I mean, I would like to... You know what? No, I'm going to perfect a strike him and we'll, we'll set him up for death because we have to kill him quickly. Um, but first... It's Burning Pact. Let's get rid of this thing. See what we draw. Uh, okay, there's Wild Strike. That's good. There's Disarm. That's good. Yeah, wow. Unbelievable the amount of damage we just did to him in one turn. No feed, unfortunately. Let's, uh... Well, let's, let's see what we can get. There's the feed. Hell yeah! God, what a, what a deck. Alright, no Searing Blow. Um, Body Slam is cute, but we don't, we don't want it in this deck. We don't have enough ways to get tons of blocks, so it's bad. Um, what do you guys think? Do I take a second to emulate? Probably not, even if it is a way to add burns to the deck. 
I think one emulate is probably enough. What's my boss? It's Time Man's. Yeah. I don't think we bother. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think. That's true. I do have Sneko. Yeah, I'll take it. You're right. But we don't take any of this. As much as Clothesline is cool, it's not a not a strike card. So. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be incredibly greedy and not go to the shop, and then we'll just have like the the raddest Act Four shop of all time. This would be great if we could get a double tap uh, emulate here. But we can't. I mean, I can do this for a little bit of damage, I guess. Uh, we can kill one guy with a strike. Um, whew, remind me to upgrade this double tap ASAP. It's getting to the point where it really just needs to happen. Um, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to double tap, and then I'm going to pommel strike this dude. Yeah, there's Metallicize. There's Fire Breathing, but I don't want to cast it because we want to be able to do our perfected strike. Ah, shit! You guys... You guys... This is the first game I've played with the Choker. I've, I've sort of assiduously avoided the Choker. Um, and so I just memed myself out of being able to strike... Yeah, it is, it is It is. too late. I was not paying enough attention. <laughs> Absolutely true. That's cool, though. We have Emulate in hand. Um, hold up. Hmm. So this is going to be a... This is going to be painful, although we can Perfected Strike to... ensure that one of these guys dies to uh, Emulate. Should I bother with a power potion? I don't think so. Let's uh, check it out. Nine x two is eighteen. He dies easily to like I think emulate plus wild strike probably kills him. Yeah. So let's perfected strike this dude. Let's emulate. Okay, that's exactly enough to kill him. Boom. Now we're totally safe because of uh, buffer. So let's. Uh, Let's wild strike him. Strike him. And then chill. Come on, feed. No feed. We could burning pack to get more cards. We could kill him with wild strike and strike, so. Actually, no, wild strike and pommel strike. Actually, no. Uh, we'd have to do all three. Let's pommel strike first and see what we get. Okay, no. Um. Watching my choker. Nope, no feed. Oh man, I regret getting the feed. <laughs> How long do I intend to stream for? I may do another run, um, but I didn't really uh, think about exactly how long. I mean, I should probably get some work done on my game, but... Uh, it just kind of depends how I'm feeling after this. Thank you, Tumalu. Alright, I'm gonna skip all this. I love flex, but not in this deck. Not with Sneko. It's like the third flex we've been offered. Now the fourth flex we've been offered. No, I'm not. Uh, well, the Warcry is tempting. But no, I'm not gonna take any of this stuff. The deck's big enough already. To be taking things speculatively or... You know... Things that I don't strictly need is probably bad at this point. This is a shop. This was a question mark that became a shop. Start each combat with one artifact. That's really good for this deck, for anybody really. None of these cards are particularly interesting to me except for the Pommel Strike. I am sort of maybe tempted to get one of those. Um, honestly, we could start removing strikes at this point and not, not be sad about it. The other metallicize is cool. Like, having an extra one is not bad, especially with Juggernaut. I'm tempted to get, like... I mean, look, I'm gonna get this. I can't not have... have Artifact when it's available. Come on. Um, 
It's just too, it's too good. Artifact is too good. Especially when I'm planning on taking this into Act 4. Okay, so... I could get Wild Strike and Pommel Strike, or I could get another Metallicize. Actually, I just, I just lied. I don't have the money for both. That was bad math. That's fine. Um, I got the Wild Strike, which is what I wanted, because we have two Fire Breathings, and suddenly Fire Breathing is looking like a good card. I'm not going to get Armaments. I mean, Armaments is um, funny, because in a deck that's this absolutely massive, then suddenly Armaments starts to be maybe less of a meme. I don't know, guys. Should I pick up the Armaments? It's on sale. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not going to do it. It's tempting, but I'm not going to do it. Okay. So we're still going for maximum question marks. No Mind Bloom yet. First we Smith. Been talking about upgrading Double Tap for a while. Well, there it is. Go here. This will be really easy for us. So we even get to start with uh, both in Flame and Demon form. Kind of wild. You need five dollars. Why do you why do you need five dollars? To get me to stream longer? Is that <laughs> is that the idea? Uh okay, that's double tap Ooh, we get to double tap whirlwind. We get to double tap perfected strike as well if we want to. Oh, we get to double tap two perfected strikes, oh my god. Totally balanced, totally fair, no big deal. You want to convince me to play at Lurst Below? I mean, yeah, if you buy it for me, I'll play it. Although somebody, um, Storm Stormworm bought me uh, Dominions 5, so I've got to stream that as well at some point. Carvin, you, you guys realize you could just skip the middleman and... Like, just, just do bits directly to me and I'll... <laughs> you know what I mean? I can just... Um, I do appreciate it, by the way. Um, like, well, I guess what I'm saying is, like, if, if... If it adds up to the cost of the game, I'll just pick it up on Steam. You know what I mean? Uh, also, how are you doing tonight, Carvin? So there's our Juggernaut. This is the first time we've drawn it. Um, not that I really care about gaining block right now. What's my opinion on Dom so far? I don't have one because I, I um, literally at the very beginning of the stream, Storm gave me the, he PM'd me the uh, download code, so I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. I was going to do that. I was going to do that live on stream at some point because, um, you know, the, then it's more interesting to see the reaction or whatever. All right, yeah, let's... Uh, Pommel Strike, to see what we can draw. We drew into Bash, that's kind of cool. We have no Fire Breathing yet, but I don't feel like I need it. Um, yeah, forget it, I'm just gonna... I really am just gonna Perfected Strike and just go for the damage. I should have defended first to add more slow. That's okay. You know, Sinchi, I read what you wrote there, and I... I, I read it as... I was playing Slay the Spire every day, but then I discovered Girlfriends. Game is pretty good. <laughs> it's was, was like, oh, you got a girlfriend. That's cool. <laughs> I, then I reread it and realized you're talking about an actual game. Okay. It's Grif Grif Griftlands. I haven't heard of that, but that is a, it's a cool sounding name. Right. Defend. Uh, probably Burning Pack to draw three cards. On the other hand, we could get two with Pommel Strike. Um, yeah, let's just do that. There's two free strikes, that's pretty cool. Another deck building roguelike, okay. This is a non-upgraded pommel strike, um, but it is damage, so why don't we just do that? Hey, there's the feed. Strike. Strike. It's not enough, god damn. I keep getting memed, you guys. 
Hey, Carvin, thank you. Come on, college boy. Appreciate that, man. Choker versus the head is a big meme. Yeah, the, weirdly enough, the choker has not screwed me. Has not screwed me over here. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to we don't get to chow down on stone today. But no feed for me. But yeah, thank you, Carvin. Okay, do we do we get the berserk? That's the real question here. I feel like Berserk is really, really good with uh, Sneko in particular. Like, being vulnerable sucks with this deck, but if I were to get this on turn one, for example, one of those turns is used up via, um, via the Helix, you know? And if we upgraded this, then that's the only turn. I think I'm going to take it. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it. Let's see what cards we get. Uh, these are all really bad. Zero cost. No thanks. Madness Plus is kind of funny, I guess. Um, oh, man. Oh, do we take the Mind Blast? We have a big deck, you guys. I think we take the Mind Blast. <laughs> uh, we don't take Panache. We, we could take Mayhem. Mayhem could be fun. Because we have a lot of high cost, high damage things in deck. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to take the Mayhem. Now we have 40 cards. Now I do 40 damage at the start of every turn. I won't, I won't take any of these things, though. Hell yeah. War Paint, okay. Okay. The Seeing Red is a wasted upgrade, but the Disarm is not. How does Mayhem interact with Choker? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, probably in the exact way that I don't want it to. Yeah, it, it definitely counts as one of my five cards. Okay, that just upgrades the cost, which we don't care about because of... Because of Sneko. This is the jankiest, weirdest deck I've made ever. Okay, that's a shop. We got really bad luck on the... On the question mark shops. Uh, okay. Oh, are you joking? Are you joking? The strike dummy and I can't afford it in this deck? No. The one deck where this would be like the best relic. Oh, is that true, Senshi? Yeah, I guess I guess that's true. Oh, and bronze scales would have been nice for the heart. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, um... No, I think you're right, Senshi. Okay, do we take Battle Trance? Is that okay with uh, Sneko? Probably not. I mean... <laughs> it's not like it's not like offering where it kind of pays for itself, you know. Whatever, I'm just going to pick up another twin strike. Whoa, hey, Reaper. That would have been nice. Uh-huh. Um, well, we got to get rid of something that we care about. Probably Pact. Nah, Pact has been pretty good to me. Well, on the other hand... Hey, Wesley. What is the power of friendship by me? I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. Now, I, I am warning you, if this game doesn't play on Linux, I'm gonna have to get... I, I'm gonna have to take a day to, to, to try to make it... Uh, to try to make it function in wine or something. Um... What is it called again? You've been trying to get me to play this for a while. It lurks below. Okay. I'll take a look as soon as this run is over and I'll see. It's written by David Brevik. Okay. Alright, so what do we get rid of here? Uh, Burning Pact is letting me shuffle through the deck, but because of the choker, I don't even really want to draw that much stuff anymore. 
You know what? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird because Burning Pact also lets me draw into more burns and things. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's one of the lead devs of Blizzard North. Oh, he's probably a very competent man then. Send me back 30 cents. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so we just demon formed. Um, 33 damage with the Mind Blast. Um, this actually only costs one, so that tells me that uh, Init cards are in fact affected by... by Sneko. It's like a more roguish and RPG-esque Terraria. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. This, is, this could be my only chance to feed, you guys. Um, if I... If I immolate... If I immolate... I can feed. Forget the Mind Blast. Which is cool, but forget the Mind Blast. I finally got to put my hit points above 100 on this character. <laughs> Very good. Um... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Buffer's still active. Uh, this seems pretty goddamn good. Casual whirlwind. Okie doke. But yeah, no, that, uh, that game does sound right up my alley, actually. You know what? Uh, I'd like to test Mayhem and see what it does with, uh, the choker to verify that it does the uh, sad thing that I think it'll do, but we kind of have to kill him, unfortunately. Well, no, I could do this. Take almost no damage. Uh, nah, let's just kill him. Oh, um... Hmm. Dark Embrace, huh? We just don't have enough exhaust to make Dark Embrace work. Like, I draw a card whenever I exhaust something, but for what purpose, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, it's cool, but... really don't have that much exhaust in the deck, especially since I got rid of Burning Pact with that dumb event. Dark Embrace plus Corruption equals good deck building. Yeah, but we don't have Corruption. This stuff is kind of cool, but I don't... You know, we've got our strikes. I'm happy with it. I don't want to junk up the deck. Like, yes, I realize I have... Yeah, the, it really wants to give me a heavy blade, you know? Um... No, I'm just not going to take this stuff. I don't have a limit break, so I'm not going to bother with that stuff. Let's get the event. Please be mind bloom. Nope, you're a chest. All right, I'll 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 take a turnip, I guess. I'm the turnip man. Have to recall here. So many more upgrades I want to get. All right, let's do the time mans. 32 damage right off the bat. We'll buffer that. Um, I guess let's berserk. Oh, that's hilarious. Berserk actually, uh, my artifact counters that. That's amazing. Yeah, thanks thanks to both of you, Carvin and Wesley. Do appreciate it, for sure. You know what? I feel like I should go ahead and burn a power potion. Hmm. All of these are bad for this fight. Uh, I guess I could do Brutality. That'd be okay, I suppose. I'm not going to be exhausting cards enough to feel no pain. Um. Okay. Wild Strike. I actually would like to get my Fire Breathing going. Uh, I'd like to emulate to get the burns in hand in, in deck to do things without actually playing things, you know? As much as I would like to mind blast him right now, let's let's do this instead. Good skill potion, let's 
hold off on that. Hey man, it's it's cool, Wesley. Selfish or not, I mean, if I uh, if I enjoy it, then I enjoy it. All right, metallicize. Unfortunately, we can't activate his time warp this this hand. Uh, definitely emulate. Definitely evolve. If I don't do anything else, I get to pocket watch next turn. Kinda want a wild strike though. Yeah, I do. If we can get that second fire breathing, we're gonna have some real fun. Ooh, this is painful. Three three things that we can do here. We definitely want a flame barrier. We're gonna take a ton of damage here though. Should I skill potion, I wonder? Three cards to cast. Let's try to get some armor. Okay, that's great. Uh, no, that's not great. Second one doesn't apply to... It only applies to non-attacks. So it's not good for this hand. Damn. This is good, though. That's great, in fact. Saves me a lot of damage. Okay, we do this. Then we probably just bash him. Your hand is full! Okay. You know, if I'm not careful, I could actually lose this fight. Um, I just realized we really don't have that much in the way of ability to stop him from owning me. Um... Yeah, that's that's true. Strider, uh, look how much, look how many streams we've gotten out of uh, Slay the Spire, and Strider got this for me. So, I mean, there is that for sure. Five mana. He's gonna do thirty damage to me. Are we just damage raising him? I feel real bad about this, but that's I can do eighty-five plus eighty-five damage to him right now if I want to. Um. Bros, we could actually lose this fight. Do I want a Sneko Oil? Let's see. I would have 19 block with the Flame Barrier and the Metallicize. That blocks all but 11 damage, so we probably have to do that. I guess I'll go ahead and Juggernaut. Um, stacking up damage happening when different things are happening. And instead of going for just the massive damage right, right away... Maybe we just use the fire breathing. That's too slow, though. It's just way too slow. Considering that I have no way to stall this stuff, you know? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Wow, you know what? This would be really nice here. Let me... Drink this. Well, that didn't really do much randomizing, did it? Okay, um... Well, I can do this now. That's mana. That's good enough. Block. Wait a minute. I only have three more cards I can do, so let's count this out. I mean, I definitely want to disarm them. Do I even bother striking? It's just not good enough. What we needed was demon form. We just drew... We're drawing into it way too damn late. Okay, we're gonna get the damage on him. I can force him to do his heal stuff pretty soon. Yeah. There's demon form. Too little, too late. There's there's double tap. I have no strength, but it would do... Um, 
you know, four times eight times two, which is not bad. There's Mayhem, which is really bad in this fight. Um, there's Offering, which would get me... Uh, give me something. Um, I think we can kill him. The man form. <laughs> well, he's he's not going to heal next turn no matter how much damage to him. N no matter how much damage I do to him. So we might be able to just straight up kill him. If I were to Offering and then... I mean, this alone takes him down to, like, 190-something. Um, the Perfected Strike. If we could just draw into more Perfected Strikes, he's done. We also have Double Tap here, which gives me, like, 100 damage right away. Um, let me Offering and see what I get. Please, another Perfected Strike. Nope. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. We could double tap Perfected Strike Whirlwind. That's probably correct. So we do this. Boom. 816, 24, 816, 24. So 48 damage if I do Whirlwind right now. It seems right. And then Wild Strike after. Well, actually, no, I can't Wild Strike after. I only have six Fire Breathing. Uh, do I want to draw into more wounds? Where does it put the wounds in my draw pile? It sure does. If I draw into Mind Blast, that's also good damage. So let's, um... Let's do this. The thing is, I can't do both because of, uh... Time Warp. I could just Demon Form here, but I don't think it's correct. Need a big pile of damage. Youch. He'll try to heal. Now we just have to kill him this turn. That's all we gotta do. No big deal, right? Five mana, six cards. Let's let's make it happen. Now it's not looking good because we still uh, we didn't draw into we didn't draw into any of our big damage things. We could have drawn into like emulate. We could have drawn into mind blast. Uh, we could have drawn into either of our our other perfected strikes, and we just didn't. Uh, deck is... deck's big. Deck is big. So... The question is, can I do this? And the answer is probably no. I mean, we can probably still win the fight, but it's gonna be ugly as hell. Um, we could end up losing this run. I have a feeling that if you build Perfected Strike Deck, you're supposed to build it more defensive than I... than I built it. All kind of hinges on this turn. Um, so if I bash him, I still have two mana. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. I'd like to pummel strike and get two cards, but that's not going to happen unless I do something else first. Um, the bash is three mana. It's just it's just too much. Um, this could this could happen for us, you know. If we draw... All we gotta do is draw two Perfected Strikes. That's literally all we have to do. Uh, one or two... One Perfected Strike and one Mind Blast would do it. Is this upgraded? Yeah, it is. Is this upgraded? No, it's not. Let's Wild Strike. Let's Pommel Strike and see what we get. Okay, that's... That's interesting. If we had bashed, we would have had this. Um, we could still have this. Four... Four more cards. I think this is lethal, actually. Let's see, bash would be eight damage. Time to bust out the old calculator. Uh, fifty percent more. Okay. So, twenty-one times one point five plus eight. That's thirty-nine. Um, and then we still have two mana, so we do another nine damage from the strike, which will be volned. That's 48. Uh, wait a minute, we could do... We could also do Twin Strike. So plus... 5 times 1.5. Plus 5 times 1.5. That should be enough. That should do the kill. Unless my math is wrong. And that's how many cards? That's exactly 4 cards, right? Bash, 2... 
Uh, three, four cards. Yeah, this is good enough. This is a kill. Yeah. GG, brother. Not bad. <laughs> Bye, slug boy. That's what he gets for messing with time magic. You're not supposed to do that. It's against the rules. GG no feed. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Alright, what's our final smith? Um, probably demon form. We may not beat the heart, by the way. It's looking, it's looking a little rough. Oh, bottle tornado! That's lame. We could have started with uh, demon form if we had the money for it. Okay, um, I don't think we bother with any of this. Maybe, uh, maybe a potion. <laughs> I wonder how Distilled Chaos interacts with Velvet Choker, like if you're at five. Yeah, spot weakness is nice, it's true. I think we need, we need, like, armor more than anything, though. We have absolutely no potions, so... Just gonna get this. It's a little extra hit points, basically. Alrighty. This thing will attack first. 33 damage plus 57. Could we could we kill this guy turn one, I wonder? Is that is that a thing we can do? Let's see. 33 plus 57 plus like 10, I guess, from the Twin Strike. That's 100. So we can do 100 damage just with that. And that leaves us with two mana left. And then we feed for the kill. That's hilarious. Are you serious? Did I do my math right? I hope I did. <laughs> Alright, I'm cool with that. That's fine by me, brother. Okay, um, wow, 10x4 though, that's a little rough, um, well, wow, that's a lot of damage, um, flame barrier will help a little bit, but not as much as I'd like, how come, uh, how come that has to be three mana, come on, man. I can't kill him in one turn like I did before. Like, I could Offering here, and then what would I draw into? You know, nothing nothing that would save me the damage here. So, unfortunately, we've got to do this. And just kind of be in a bad state versus the heart, I guess. I could drink my Essence of Steel, but I'd rather, uh, rather save that for the heart, to be honest. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, this is a little better. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna happen for us. Um, we're gonna not not kill him this turn, and I can't afford my defend. So. Uh, what can I do to make my next turn as big as possible, I guess? Um, I could Berserk, and the, the artifact would cancel the Vuln, but whatever his debuff is, um, I'd rather block that. I think that might be weakness or something, which would make this annoying, so... Uh, I think I'm just going to do 16 damage to him with Whirlwind, maybe. Yeah, that's probably correct. I'll just take another 12 damage and be real sad about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, this is easy enough. Okay. 
Akabiko! That's really good if our first attack happens to be Whirlwind. Hey, It's very important. So always take four perfected strikes every time you play Ironclad. <laughs> Alright. Casual 41 card deck, no big deal. Not bloated at all. Alright, so we got lucky. We got to start with Demon Form. That's, that's rad. Um... We also get a free flame barrier, that's also rad. Let's me not take damage this turn, lets me not get cucked out of my buffer. Let's do that. Let's um go ahead and do this. Um Okay, mind blast him for sure. Very cool. I don't think we strike. I think we just chill and let the pocket watch give me some more cards. Yeah. Let's do that. There's my artifact. Goodbye. I think that was Vuln that I just cancelled, so that's great. We need to draw into... Disarm is what we need to do. That would be the ideal thing that happens here. Um... Boy, the deck is big. And the disarm could be very deep in the deck. Taking 30 damage this turn if I don't do that, though. And the buffer does nothing for me, so... What are you gonna do, you know? I'm just gonna have to let it die to the heart, I guess. Okay, let me think about this. If I... If I double tap Pommel Strike, that's the same as offering. Yeah, heart fight's not very good for this deck, I gotta say. Um, <laughs> evolves kind of cool in the heart fight, I guess. There's a perfected strike. We could just go damage raise, but we're gonna we'll lose a damage raise against him. Oh uh, man, too many cards in hand is the thing. All this draw that we have is almost useless. Like this, I gotta say that the velvet choker in any deck that does any kind of drawing. Like this, especially like I, I think this particular combo, Sneko Eye Velvet Choker. I don't think I'm ever gonna do this again. I think that these two relics really play against each other for the most part in most decks, at least in this one. Anyway, um, I mean, we get to double tap Perfected Strike, that's always cool, I guess. Uh, hmm, this is tough. This is tough. Um, I guess let's go ahead and use this stupid thing. Um, Pommel Strike and see what I can draw. That's not anything I really wanted. Um, I'm just eating the damage, by the way. Double tap. Do this. Yeah, we're probably not going to win this fight. Get to double up something else. Um, Hmm. Well, let's, uh... Let's make it the emulate, I guess. Ah! The Velvet Choker stopped me from doubling that. So that does work how I thought it worked. Okay. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Imagine if we had Flame Barrier there. Wouldn't that have been nice? The problem with the heart fight on this character is we just, we needed to have the perfect draw. Offering feels bad with Choker. Yeah, a lot of things feel bad with Choker. It's one of the reasons I've almost uh, always avoided, avoided using Choker. I think we die this turn, by the way. Um, we just didn't, we didn't have the god draw and that was enough to make us lose, basically, for this, for this particular deck. Not that we lost the run, though, I mean. Like, this is still a win, because we beat the third act. Um, how, how could we not die here? Is it even possible to not die here? We'd have to... We can't apply weak to him, so that's out. Uh, disarm doesn't do enough. Yeah, I don't think... I, I think it's literally impossible for us to... Not die here. Um, I mean, I can do this. Okay, I can do this. Still 42 damage, you know. 
Um, yeah, that's that's game. Better make myself vulnerable. Just a dab on him. GG. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We unlocked Ascension Mode 7. I had a fun time with this deck. I think that my opinion on Perfected Strike is a lot higher than it was a minute ago. I mean, it's, um... It's definitely not, like, the, the perfect deck, but, um... I think it crushed the first three acts of the game. I mean, I felt like we were just brutalizing the entire game with that with that card uh, until basically up until um, the very final the final boss, and even that was mostly because I, I misplayed a little bit and did a, I put a few too many quirky things in the deck. But yeah, GG Carvin. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall it worked great. I think that if you put a little more block into it and maybe. Um, Maybe went a little less... I think I went a little bit hog wild on trying to make the, the Perfected Strikes do, like, as much damage as humanly possible, you know, rather than getting rid of my regular strikes and, re and replacing them with Pommel Strikes. I went for, like, the fattest, the fattest deck you could possibly have. I think if I had it to do over again, I would try to... I still would have gotten the Flame Barriers. I probably would have gotten some more Shrugged Offs, maybe. I just, like, skipped through those. I think I probably would have... Um, done a little more card remove, you know? Uh, and I probably wouldn't have taken some of the jankier stuff. Uh, like, if I look at the deck... Yeah, Legend of Strider, I've streamed all of it. <laughs> I've streamed every single moment I've played this game. Also, if you... Uh, that, that number is actually wrong. No, I, I have left the game on, like, all night, you know, before I just, like, left the program open, and, and Steam is kind of dumb about uh, counting those hours, you know? That's happened at least a few times, so... Probably subtract, like, like 60 hours from that, at least. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Wesley, what can I... What can I do to... Run history? There it is. Yeah, so... I think I probably maybe wouldn't have taken the Juggernaut unless I had more shield, for example. Or more, more block. Um, I don't feel bad about the Mind Blast. That was awesome. Uh, I probably wouldn't have... I tell you what I probably wouldn't have done is I, I probably wouldn't have... Like, these... This was just garbage. Like, the Fire Breathing did next to nothing for me. The Evolve did next to nothing for me. Uh, the Wild Strikes, I probably still would have gotten those just because they're strikes, but I don't think we needed to try to build a big a big goofy status deck around Fire Breathing and Evolve. Like, I was, I was kind of pointed in a bit of a wrong direction, I think, by these relics that I found. Like, I got the ashes, and I, I got the medical kit, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna make this happen, but in reality, that's like three damage once in a while. And especially since we had the choker, we couldn't really take full advantage of that stuff, so... In this, in this game, we basically, what we saw is we saw relics kind of playing against each other in terms of, like, how, how good they actually were supposed to be, you know? Um, no, oh, that was the last ascension. Whoops. <laughs> Slain by the corrupt heart. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy with how this deck turned out. And I, I do think it's hilarious that we had four perfected strikes. <laughs> yeah. This guy can't believe it. I can't believe how good this strike is. Wow. Anyway, I guess that'll be it for the, uh, for... Ascension level 6 on the iron, Ironclad. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.